G'day Scorpio, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. So, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates there with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, this is someone else, so... Keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's go. Scorpio, what's your message? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. So you're freeing yourself from something that was unrequited. But you're still keeping an open mind here um, while you're doing some sort of healing. Not necessarily family issues, but um, you're, you're healing from the fact that you've had to free yourself from something that was unrequited here. You're still keeping an open mind that, yeah, when it comes to love. But yeah, you've got to heal from the fact that something was unrequited. You had to free yourself from it because you knew it wasn't, just wasn't meant to be. Ooh, extra message. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, yeah, just wait. There's some divine angels, creator, they've got something better for you. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> All right, because, yeah, you deserve love. Of course you do. You're Scorpio. You're awesome. You are lovable. Ooh, we've got finances and career coming out as well. Maybe you're just focusing on your focusing on your finances right now. Ooh, yeah, because of that unrequited love. Hmm, could have been someone that you worked with. All right, yeah, you freed yourself from it though. You're freeing yourself. You're taking back control of your life. Good on you. All right, love energy coming towards Scorpio. What can you tell us? Three cards, please. Ooh. Come on, talk to us. Love energy coming towards Scorpio. No. Okay, there we go. So we have. Oh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Ooh, so you got a soulmate coming towards you. Hmm, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So they definitely feel that chemistry towards you. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. Okay, so they've got some sort of codependency here. Interesting. Bottom of the deck for them is getting to know each other. Free yourself, children, and pay attention to the red flags. So I think they're going to want to get to know you. Um, they've had to free themselves from someone who was childish that showed a lot of red flags to them. So they're being a bit cautious about people who are a bit childish mm, because they've freed themselves from someone like that. So they want to get to know you. All right. Yes, because that children card is, for me, is, well, if there's children involved in your relationship, then there's children involved, you know about that, but for me, it's usually childhood issues or someone acting childish, or it can be um, a childhood sweetheart or the innocence of love, but yeah, we 
with what came out there, I'd say they freed themselves from someone who was acting childish. All right, message for Scorpio is... Ooh, Nine of Swords. What do you can't sleep at night stressing about? Four of Swords, Healing, Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Swords. So you've been stressing and trying to heal from something that stressed you out so bad. It was a nightmare. But the wheel is turning on that and you're going to get that truth and clarity or you've gotten that truth and clarity that you need. Hmm. You're going to see clearly, I heard. Yeah, you're definitely going to see clearly there's the Ace of Swords again. And you can hear them shuffling. All right, tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Scorpio. Tell us about why soulmate here. Tell us more about this, why they see Scorpio as a soulmate. Ooh, they don't want to come out, do they? <sighs> Tell us about soulmate, please. Ooh. Okay, now you're talking. Just have to be polite. See? You just got to say please sometimes. <laughs> So they have the death card. Oh, this is your card, Scorpio. The Empress, oh, major. Uh, three of Wands and the Chariot. Another three majors. One minor. So, soulmate. Want things to transform? Want the situation of being apart to end so that a new beginning can come in that, where they can create with you they're just waiting for that right time to charge forward, to come, come into you, charge towards you triumphantly. They do see this as something that can transform between you two into something that will grow. But yeah, again, waiting to move forward, waiting for that right time. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Slow and steady wins the race. They've got that coin. They're on the horse. They're ready to go. But, yeah, waiting for that right time to move. Going slow and steady here. Two of Swords, the Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, and the World. Mm. So they don't know how you're going to feel about commitment. Or they're not sure how they feel about commitment. Committing to something straight away. They want to get to know you first, I think. There's still a bit of a wounded warrior, but that cycle is closing out for them. But, you know, you're doing the same thing. You're um, healing, getting clarity, closing out a cycle as well. So, waiting for that wheel to turn. So, you know, they're doing the similar thing, thing to you. They're unsure about full-on commitment. Hmm... But they are closing out that cycle of feeling like a wounded warrior. They haven't given up on love, though. That's for sure. All right. Tell me about chemistry for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Ooh, okay. Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands, fire energy. So they feel the magnetic attraction here, but they're not sure if this is just passion and that's all it is. Just night, a night of passionate action. They feel the chemistry hmm, that they don't know. Is it just passion? Is it just a bit of playfulness? Is it, you know... The strength card. Taming that beast, having the courage. 
Hmm, is it a bit of uh, yeah, ego? They're not sure. Is this just player energy? Is it all about ego for you? Not saying that it is. I think they're going to be strong until they find out the, what which way this is going. But they're not sure if this is just passion and that's it. Page of Swords, air energy, they want more information. Yeah, Five of Cups, the Star, and the Seven of Swords, ooh. Yeah, they want more information. Is this going to be a disappointment or is this their wish come true? What's under that? No, yeah, they are they going to have to... I heard sneaking away when I saw this, or are they going to have to sneak away and just be single? Hmm. I think if they think it's just player energy, yeah, justice just popped up, they will just sneak off, sneak away. But, you know... Hmm. Oh, they feel in the chemistry, but they're indecisive because they're in player energy and their ego still. Hmm. As you know, with my readings, <laughs> till we get most of the cards out, it's probably not till the end we find out the real story. Because <laughs> tarot can mean lots of things. So, you know, but I always get a clear story by the end. Well, nearly always. All right, yeah, a clear story, Ace of Swords, <laughs> clarity. <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> All right, tell me about codependency for this love energy coming towards Scorpio. Ooh, five of swords, something like that. Addictions, addicted to mind games, manipulation, putting themselves first over others, head games, what's going on? Oh, and the devil. They're addicted to toxicity, they've got a codependency to manipulation and devil energy. Trying to free themselves from something childish, but there's red flags. Oh, red flags, childishness, wanting to be free, but they want to get to know you. See, waiting to charge forward, but not not taking any action here. Bugger. Hangman, yeah, stuck, tower. Eight of Cups, and wow, Five of Wands. So conflict, competition, walking away, causing a tower moment, and what? They're just hanging around till this all falls apart, and they can walk away to someone else because they've, they've got all this, these other people fighting for them. Uh, Scorpio... Hmm. Yeah, I would take a wide berth on this one. I mean, there's a, there are soulmate, and we have lots of soulmates. So you know, well, maybe this is this is two different people. There's a soulmate here that's waiting to move forward here, but you're dealing with someone else that's all just about chem chemistry and codependency here. So they're waiting, you know, and you got worth waiting for. They're waiting too. Your soulmate is waiting while you deal with this codependent chemistry person. Message for Scorpio. A time for healing. Surrender to a uh, balsamic moon. Surrender to the divine full moon. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. And look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So yeah, you need to look at the bigger picture here because there's no bigger picture with this energy. There is with that. They're looking at stability in the future and something growing. 
Have faith in your dreams. Yeah. Surrender to the divine. See the divine again. It's worth waiting for. And take time to heal after you get rid of this energy that's coming in. Because that's still attached to you. You've got a soulmate that wants to come in, but they're waiting because you're still dealing with someone who's just a player. Head games, toxicness. It's just hanging around. Okay, love energy coming towards Scorpio. Three cards, please. What else can you tell us? Just one. Yes, it is. Come oh. on, two more. Whoa. And one more. There we go. So, they have... The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Same as you. And communication is key. New moon in Gemini. You've got two Gemini cards. That's interesting. Bottom of the deck is time for healing for them as well. Conclusions are within reach. Well, that's Balsamic Moon. This is full moon eclipse. Win-win outcome is forecast. New moon in Libra. And you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. I think this could be the, it's a combination of these two people. Time for healing. The soulmate knows that you need time to heal. That conclusions are within reach. That you will come to the conclusion here that this is toxic and, and they're a better, they're, they're the true soulmate. Looking at a win-win outcome here. But I'm also getting that can be that toxic one. They're thinking that they're going to win whatever. Um, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. I think this toxic one doesn't think they are good enough. But this soulmate does know that they're, um, they're good enough to deserve your love. This is a bit confusing here, Scorpio. You've got a couple of people. Yeah, but the soulmate is, the real soulmate is waiting for um, this toxic one to get out of the way. Alright, message for Scorpio is... King of Swords, Air Energy, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the King of Wands, Fire Energy. Yeah. So I think, you know, get it very clear in your head, in your thoughts of who you want to actually work with here. Who has to be left out in the cold? Control those passions, Scorpio. Mm, and there's another king, Earth King. So you've got three kings here. You've got quite a few choices. Which one do you wish fulfillment with the star? Do you want stability? Or do you just want passion? One's got to be left out in the cold. You need to use a very, you know, intelli use your intelligence. Hmm... One is just passion, which is this one. And one is stability here. Bringing in the Knight of Pentacles and Empress energy. But they're waiting. They want to come in full pelt, but... They've got to wait, because you're still dealing with that. Alright, tell me about the answers you need are coming for this love energy. Coming towards Scorpio, please. Okay, they have 
the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Magician or the Witch, um, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So you've got two fours here. A two, a three, a one, and two fours. Wow. So the answers they need are coming. So someone's indecisive about here because they think they might get their heart broken. As much as they're trying to manifest you, they are holding back while you heal. Or why this, this healing is done. So I'm feeling this is the soulmate here. They're really indecisive because they're hoping that they don't get their heart broken here, trying to manifest you in. And they're going to hold back until you heal, though, from, yeah, whatever that is, <laughs> whoever that is. Page of Cups, water energy. They may send a little love message. I don't see them apologising because I don't think they have anything to apologise for, the soulmate. Um... Mm. They may just send a little message of love here. Mm. And then under that we've got the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they see you as hot and sexy and attractive and going after what you want. They want to go after what they want here. The Ten of Cups with you. But... They're, again, feeling like a bit of a wounded warrior here because they've got to wait, you know. You're dealing with something that's not that good. But they're not giving up. They will communicate, Eight of Wands. Or travel to see you. All right. Hmm. Tell me about, look at the bigger picture for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Oh, it's gone on the floor. Oh dear, where'd you go? There you are. Oh! It's a nice card too. <laughs> Hang on, that way, that way, okay. So they have all oh, the Eight of Swords, Judgment or Harvest in this deck, the Two of Cups, that's what fell on the floor, on the floor, through the door. A reader used to say that, I can't remember who it was. And the Three of Cups, wow, 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 looking at the bigger picture here. So... Yeah, again, I think this is this soulmate here. This is, they're a bit stuck in their head here. Not sure on what, how this will go. Thinking about you all the time. Hoping that you're going to make the right judgment call and see, look at the bigger picture here. They're hoping that you're going to make the right judgment call here and, uh, and accept their love with the Two of Cups and that you will get together. But you'll accept their love in the Two of Cups rather than being one of multiple in a third party as well. They're trying to look at the bigger picture here. Nine of Wands, but they are getting really tired of waiting. They are a bit defensive. Feeling like a bit of a wounded warrior. They're hoping that they don't end up getting hurt here. Mm. Really hoping that you're going to make the right decision here. And have this Ten of Cups with them. There's that Queen of Wands again, Fire Energy. The Three of Wands and the Chariot. See, same thing again. Waiting to charge forward triumphantly with you, the Battle Wagon. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, waiting to charge forward triumphantly with you. Wanting to take action and come after you and give you this Ten of Cups. It's beautiful. 
Well, haven't heard much from this dodgy energy, have we? I don't think their communication is going to be... Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Alright. Tell me about communication is key for this love energy coming towards Scorpio. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, again, Earth Energy, and the Ace of Wands. <sighs> so I think, <coughs> well, this could be from either of them. I think the soulmate is going to communicate about their stability coming forward, and they are here now taking a step. Both feet are, look, that foot's taken a step, and this one's taken another step. So, yeah, they want to communicate about how they want to bring this stability into you and actually take the action to do it. We'll, we'll action it um, and have a passionate beginning with you. Now, it could also be this dodgy one is communicating that they want to move forward with stability, but it is just all about the passionate action. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's at the bottom here. <coughs> oh, sorry. Seven of Wands. Standing their ground. Standing up for themselves, defending themselves. I think... Um, the soulmate wants to come in and fight for you. Will defend you. Defend this connection. And may even try and fight this one off. <laughs> With communication. Um, I don't see the other one. Well, the other one might try and defend their right for your passion. But I don't think they're, um, because we do have the fire in here. But I think this soulmate is way above, reaching for way above passion, just passion. Mm, because look, we've got the soulmates here, Lady and the Lord, the lovers. Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, water energy, and the... Earth Mother, which is the Empress again. See, they see you as this soulmate sees you as a soulmate, <laughs> a divine destined love love partner. They're willing to put that work in. They're willing to take that action and offer love and have something grow with you, the Empress. Wow. Yeah, I would um, clear out this energy. And um, allow this soulmate to come in. <laughs> yeah. So you definitely have to. Definitely, Scorpio. You have to. All right. What's the message for Scorpio? The snake, see? Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. And soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, see? You've got a soulmate here, but you've got to get rid of this snake. That is just happily single, living in the moment, having fun with you. They're not showing their true feelings to you. They might be pretending to be a soulmate, but they're not. Soulmates, outdated thinking. Not today. Wedding rings, see? But there's a self-absorbed narcissist here that's going to stab you in the back. And then you're going to feel like... Yeah, that was not enough because it was a karmic relationship. Take that time to heal because of that 
narcissist, and then you'll make the healthy choice and let our, Cupid's arrow be shot. So you can make new memories with someone that you commit, can commit with. But yeah, you got to get rid of this, um, yeah, the coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. And seduction. Yeah, you got to end being seduced by this devil energy. Someone who's addicted to manipulation and just passion, being having people chained to them. Passion, see? Insane chemistry like each other equally. Having fun. See, they're all about just the passion. Passion. But where's the love? There's no love here. It's mind games. It's devil energy. They possibly have, well, most likely they have multiple people. We saw that with the Five of Wands competition. All right. Love energy coming towards Scorpio. What can you tell us? At least three cards, please. What else? Expand, confirm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, wow, so we've got, and it landed right here, not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy, this is that dodgy person, see, girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries, yeah, and golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, they all came out. But you saw the how spread out they were when I went through that deck there. And look, engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. I don't see this as the same person. I don't see it as the same person. I see this soulmate holding back because you're dealing with something toxic here and they want to offer you stability. Yeah, and there's a, a codependency addiction again. Codependent obsession, possession controlling, has a block restraint. Photograph looks at looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. See, I have an addiction, a codependency here, the toxicity. See, I think the, the the soulmate is missing you and looking at your photos, wanting to make new memories, waiting for you to move on and be single. But you're staying with this person is going to get you stabbed in the back when, look, there's unconditional love waiting here. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. Someone wants to fall in love with you and heal you from heartbreak. See, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. See, they want you to free yourself. So, yeah, we've got definitely got the two energies here. And they're fighting. <laughs> they're fighting. <laughs> one's trying to come in and love you and the other one's trying to hurt you. Hmm. It happens sometimes I get these double energies coming in. But like I said, the soulmate's waiting. Knight of Pentacles, waiting. And the Three of Wands, waiting to charge into you. But there's this other one in the way. Alright, what would you like to say, Scorpio? I still love you. You are so hot. I regret letting you go, and I'm always thinking about you. Ah. I think this is that toxic one. You still love this toxic one. You think they're hot. It's fine. They, you know, you regret letting them go, but you, uh, and you're always thinking about them. But that's the game they play. They they make you feel like it's your fault. 
you know, you feel regret for what being having a go at them for treating you like an option, and then you're always thinking about them, but you don't realize you've got this awesome love that wants to come in, Scorpio, a real soulmate that wants to grow something. I am different now, you're different now, okay. So, yeah, I think you're starting to change. Yeah, you're starting to change. You're starting to see that this isn't worth it. And you might even feel that soulmate energy. Something real approaching. Okay. Love energy coming towards Scorpio. What would they like to say to Scorpio? At least three cards, please. cards and they all landed on this side over here so we'll see what they say we've got I feel safe with you you are beautiful and so many songs remind me of you so and they all landed on that side because I was thinking, okay, the ones that land on this side of the soulmate, the ones that land on this side will be that energy. They've got nothing to say. They're too busy off with somebody else. They're only thinking about themselves. They've got nothing to say to you. It's at the bottom. Yeah, because see, look, they're not available. No, I'm not available to comment on this. You make my skin tingle. I'm always thinking about you and I wish I had treated you better. But, yeah, they love holding you, and your energy heals them. Mm, they might feel some regret. I'm sorry I hurt you, and I now know what I lost because, yeah, you're about to be taken, aren't you? But see, energy vampire. That's why they like holding you and absorbing your awesome energy. They wish I had treated you better because I think they know that you're done. They're always thinking about how to fit you in, because you make their skin tingle, again, that passion, but they're not available for anything real. It's just a game to them. But this other person thinks you're beautiful and will never hurt you. Mm, well, it's your choice, Scorpio, but you've got someone that wants commitment waiting to come in. And you've got someone toxic here that's still hanging around. Um, yeah, it's your choice. All right, well, that's your reading, Scorpio. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll do another reading in a few days or so and see what's going on then. Mm, well, hope you make the right choice. <laughs> Well, that's the logical choice, isn't it? Of course. But uh, when there's emotions uh, involved, things can get tricky. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.